Hello and welcome to the Emerald Coast Crocodile Guide. So I've been looking forward to making this one since early access started. I wasn't sure at first, but man, I gotta say the crocodile are the most fun thing to hunt that I have found so far. There's only a few locations on the map. Where we'll get right into it with where they actually rest on the map. So you can find them in the mangrove locations here, right here in this small section here. You can see the rest zones sprinkled through here. And then at the top side, all the way back to almost to this bridge here, they come back to this far. As far as I could tell, they don't spawn anywhere else. I haven't seen them at any of the lakes or anything like that, but they come all through these mangrove areas. And then of course, all the way down the beach. Now the beach is probably the easiest place to hunt them, but down here in the Southern mangrove, this is the absolute most locations where I have found them so far. They're a little bit more difficult to hunt. Some of these areas are deep and you have to make your way inland to get back out. So if you're shooting across, you're gonna have to spend a little bit of time walking to collect, but it's not too bad. Uh, if you did wanna do like an actual grind or anything like that, you could simply place a few tents in throughout here to move around quickly for collection. But we have currently uh, nine legendaries somewhere in here. It's out in the middle. I spotted it. I'm not sure which one of these rest zones actually belong to it, but I know we did get its rest zone in here. And there's also another one over here in this area. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take those out during this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'm going to give you a couple of tips along the way just to help you survive and put on some good shots to get the trophies down. First one we got here is a six it is currently about 150 meters the shot that you're going for is middle of the neck in the top third of the neck that's the spinal cord and it does instantly kill the crocodiles right there you can see the health drop instantly that will put them right down so that's the main shot that you're looking for we'll look at the harvest screen on that and give you a feel of where that shot actually hit and as you're cruising through here you're just going to want to go ahead and scan around listen for their calls they definitely do go aggressive and sometimes can actually pop out of the water unexpectedly at you uh, i've had that happen a few times now it's very very cool when it happens all right here we go Here's the croc. We shot it at 167 meters, actually, but zeroed at 150. We got right into the neck there. We'll go ahead and pull up the further harvest. Zoom in a bit, and there you go. Anywhere in the neck, you're looking for the shot on them to stop them instantly. Uh, also, the brain shot. The brain shot on these guys, very, very tight, though. It's a small, small shot. You can definitely go for it, but if you're doing anything from the front or just off to the side, it's difficult to get the penetration in there to the brain. So next shot's the most reliable and quickest way to put them down. Got a level seven over here. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can sneak over and get a shot on them. Oh, oh, oh. Here's one thing to note now, whenever they go underwater and die, actually they will float back up. Which is nice to know that you're not going to be losing your trophies uh, when they cruise off under the water like that. And this guy out here, I haven't even spotted him. There he is. So he's already aggressive. He, he didn't even make a noise or anything. I'm not sure. Let's see, we'll see what he does here. Looks like a lot of posturing right now. One nice thing about them charging in like that, uh, if they're running straight at you, if you're aiming in on the top of that head, a lot of times you can get them like that and just one shot them down. Again, right there, they usually come past on that when you aim for the top of the head. You'll hit this 
spinal cord and again stop them in their tracks great way to kill them out here we got these longer shots out here this guy's about 260 we're gonna zero to 300 and just aim a little low on them and got that middle neck right there puts him down got a four here go ahead and send that one too we got an eight mythical out here not sure what that one is A level four as well. That's three crocs down right there. Let's see if we can get eyes on that eight over there. Body of the other one. There we go. This is one of those sections where, with all these kills over here, we're gonna go ahead and put a waypoint on top of them so we can make our way back over there for collection. Uh, but some of these inlets come in, uh, and it's too deep to actually cross. So we got to get over here to these more shallow areas where the mangroves cross, and we can usually get through right there and, and get over to our downed crocodiles. Dark brown, four, middle neck. And we got the olive here with the middle neck. That's just the way to do it. You, you can get out here and absolutely get through some crocodiles. Uh, I was fortunate enough to actually get a decent sized melanistic and the melanistic looks great. I'll go ahead and pull that harvest screen up for you. I actually wasn't recording at the time I got it. Uh, so I don't have the footage for you. It was during our live stream. Uh, and it was a 24 hour live stream. So I just didn't go back through to find the footage from that. After seeing that melanistic though, I really, really would like to see a albino. I haven't seen any of the creators take one yet, uh, but would absolutely love to see one. The rares look so good this update. The crocodile by far is one that I really, really want to see. Just a little side note with the magpie geese. I have only seen these above the mangroves where the crocodile spawn. So, and actually in the water around here, uh, that's the only place that I've seen them as well. So just outside of the mangroves out in the grass out here and obviously landed down like in these bays and things like that. Here we got a six, two sixes side by side. We're gonna go ahead and take this first one here. And that's both down. It's got those two sixes down right over there. And we have, it looks like a level seven out here. I don't see anything else with it. We'll go ahead and put a shot out on this one as well. Right there. And then see if we can work our way further over to the side here after harvesting these three. We're going to see if we can get that nine legendary up here. Yeah, I have not found that nine yet, though. I have been all over. That's one thing about these mangroves. They are super thick. They look absolutely amazing. I mean, just this terrain, the lighting, everything in here. It looks so good. But it is hard to find some, man. Uh, sometimes you just don't see them. They'll spook off and, and run off into the water before you actually get a chance to get eyes on. And that seems to be what's happening now. All right, well, we made it through the mangrove and we took several crocodiles through here, but I was not able to get a shot on that nine legendary. And so we will continue on to now the beach side of things. And this is where probably the best spot for finding the crocodiles is. They're just laid out here on the beach in their rest zones. And it is quite a bit of fun. They should be right up here. Uh, pretty close. Yep. So, all right, here we go. We got a level three right here. Level seven here, one female out there. Let's see, this guy might run off, it's possible. 
He's aggressive. Uh. Oh, no. He went right into fleeing, I think. Oh, no. He's still aggressive. Huh. Weird. So one thing about these is whenever they go aggressive, you can choose to shoot them. Now, this guy is so small, I'm not even going to bother. You can actually place down a tripod and jump right up into it. They'll go aggressive right around the stand just for a little bit until they lose interest and they will run off back into the water. There he goes. And since we're here, we'll go ahead and take a look. We've got a five medium, the female. And we have the level 7 at 229 meters. We'll go ahead and 0 to 150. And take that middle neck shot on there. This 5 here should get to turning as well. And we'll give him just a second. Maybe we can get a little bit better angle on him. And right about there. Oh, took a cut. <laughs> Oh, no, we got a bad shot. A couple bad shots there. Level four and a female. Nice thing about them again, though, they do float. So if they happen to run off into the water, it will be all right. Oh, this guy's aggressive right here. Another way to scare them off is simply by... Ah. Uh... <laughs> this guy's actually aggressive as I came over here to collect the two we just shot. Uh, another way to scare them off if you don't want to shoot them, um, is a level four. Like I said, a small guy. I don't really, you know, I'm not really down to shoot him. So uh, you can just run circles and also just fire one shot off. That will also scare them. They lose aggro and will run off. So two ways to get rid of them there. You can either shoot your gun or jump into a tripod and they will run away. Uh, outrunning them is also an option, I guess, but I have seen them go crazy. Here's the nine legendary that we have over here in the middle of the map. You can see it right down over here in this rest zone. I couldn't find the one in the coastal mangrove area. So I decided to go ahead and come over here and shoot this one for you guys see how he does I, I right now currently i am like six for six on nine legendary crocodiles i have shot six and six have made diamond on the legendary so uh, i am definitely curious to see if this one is a dime or a troll Let's see if we can get an angle and get a good shot on him i hate to mess it up definitely don't want to do that I think maybe right about here. We'll zero at 75 and put it right behind the top of the head there. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Let's get over there and check him out. All right, here he is. Nice, big, nine legendary croc. Let's go. Dark brown, a nine legendary, and this one made diamond as well. The largest one that I got so far is 1100 scoring. So pretty sweet trophy. I got that in the lodge. I will be doing a lodge tour video for early access as well, just to kind of remember all those trophies that we got in early access and uh, be able to keep those, even though we can't actually keep them and take them to our main save. Taxi this one up and there we go. It's an absolutely fun hunt and it actually makes a lot of in-game money as well. So it could potentially be a grind where you could see it, you know, used straight for money. Um, I'd love to see some of the more rares coming out of it. I'll definitely be focusing more on crocodiles and shooting through them. Uh, it's just good overall fun. They go aggressive and it's a great time. But anyways, thank you so much for stopping in and watching the video. I appreciate you. And if you enjoyed the content, Consider subscribing and dropping me a follow over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash iBuyPremiums. Again, thank you so much for stopping in. Have a good one.